told you last night, government of Ghana does not own any land in Ghana. Land is owned by chiefs and uh, families. And therefore, if you want any land, you go to the family or you go to the chief. The head of the family have that responsibility. So if you own a land here, if my family own a land here, and you have built your mansion, five-star mansion, I can come and build my Atakwami. When I say Atakwami, I simply mean uh, um, clay house. I can decide to come and put my clay or lateral house just beside yours because the land belongs to me, belongs to my great, 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 great grandfather. So I have a title to it and you cannot tell me I cannot put that building there. So we have mixture of people here. This is also a traditional area belonging to the La people. This is also the La area, but it's called Adenta. As we know it today, but the original name is Adentang in this area. Ghana also has neighbors and our neighbor to the west is Ivory Coast and then to the east is the Republic of Togo to the north is the Republic of Burkina Faso all these three countries are West African speaking French speaking countries whilst to the south we have the big brother the Atlantic Ocean or also known as the Gulf of Guinea um, Historically, West Africa is referred to as the Guinea coast, so that's the Gulf of Guinea. Sixteen countries form the West African sub-region, and so and most of those 16 countries are French-speaking West African countries, while we have Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Gambia, Nigeria speaking English. family were cruising up to the mountains and this family our good brother Nanaya is uh, just you know sharing all of the history and the culture of Ghana getting us introduced properly uh, Ago there are some don'ts and don'ts that you have to take note especially Cretan people in Ghana we don't accept the usage of the left hand for greeting or taking things from people. We use the right hand. Whether you are left-handed or not, you have to use your right hand. And this is taught while you are a baby, not to use your left hand to eat or take items from people. It shows disrespect when you use your left hand. Now, the only time you can use your left hand is to excuse the person maybe your right hand is busy and therefore you say excuse me can i use my left hand even then you will do something like this and then you take the turn from the person we also consider greeting very important in the ghanaian society so you wake up in the morning you see your brother say good morning and some ethnic groups the greeting can take our uh, five minutes, especially where Duncan is coming from. The, the greeting can take about uh, 10 minutes <laughs> to, to complete one morning <laughs> greeting. <laughs> so uh, we see it's very important. So when you bypass me and you do not greet me, make sure that where you're going, if something happened to you or you are looking for somebody, don't come to me and ask me because you'll be in trouble. Yeah. So especially when you are entering the house looking for somebody and you meet people in the house and you just bypass and go to the door of the person and you knock on that door and woe betimes you the person is not in and you come back and greet or ask. Especially I'll give you our people in Accra. Uh, the indigent in Accra don't even try it because <laughs> she would, she or he will address you properly and show you where you belong to. <laughs> so Britain is very important to the people of Ghana. And then also in a sitting environment, we don't also greet from the left to the right. We greet from the right to the left.
This family, this family, we officially out on our first tour day. And the rainy season has kicked in. Now, now, now the question I have for you, I've been here many times in May, and the people always ask me, does it just rain, rain? I said, you know, maybe you get a little rain here and there. And I guess we're gonna see uh, this uh, next 10 days. Is it forecast to be raining on a regular basis? Um, yes, um, the question is asked if we are entering the rainy season. Well, according to the Ghana Meteorological Services Department says that this year we are going to experience a lot of rain and the rains have started early because in May, we don't experience the type of rain that is raining now, that we are experiencing now. But it's actually in June, July. But, well, that is nature. Nature has changed, so we are into the season earlier than expected, especially in southern Ghana. There you go, family. We're not going to let the rain, a little rain stop us anyway. So yes, family, you know, the lectures, the information and the energy continues.